Teams to come out, here they come. The Blues, obviously, the orange of uh, Chesterfield, which is a little bit unfortunate as uh, the home mascots are all in the away team's colour, but that is just a coincidence. Uh, and the two teams out here today. Still looking at the watch, maybe waiting for it to turn exactly three o'clock, and we are underway. Eastley 11th in the table. Probably, oh, here come Eastley. They've dispossessed the defenders. It's quickly through one on one. It's oh. saved. Quickly did well to win the ball from the defender, but it was a brilliant one handed save from Harry Tyrus, the attacking down the right wing of Baldwin. Crosses it into the air. George McCallum is diving in. Oh, is that the goalkeeper? Oh. Bounced before it reached the keeper. Terrific, uh, terrific cross and terrific technique, but still not the goal. It's Mandeville. What can he do? Edge of the box. Finds. A shooting chance, curl just over the top from Oldacre after Naylor passed it off, and that is Chesterfield's best chance on 15 minutes. Seems a while ago now. Got the now, offside. Yeah. Quigley receives the ball, the flag stays down, it goes down in the area, yeah. the referee waves away, appeals for a penalty. So interesting there if he was onside or not, interesting there if it was a penalty or not, the referee was on the spot and waves it away. There to put the ball, he's gone to Longe King back in his own half. Baldwin tries to get past Clements, burst past him, tries to get past Holdacre. Brilliant. Gets past Brilliant. him as well. Terrific, he's in the area, shot is blocked by Grimes. And Taylor up there probably wished it was a pass to him, but terrific stuff from Baldwin, who's got the ball back here down the right hand side. Looking for support, finds it. Maguire's cross, deflects behind of Oldacre for the game's first corner. Atangana can't stop the attack on this occasion. This is a promising opportunity. And the shot off the bar and in. James Berry has scored on the break for Chesterfield on the 38th minute. They've had a lot of pressure today, but Eastley could be very proud of how they performed until then. But on the break, it's a well-taken goal, and it's Eastley nil Chesterfield 1. Yeah, it, it was unfortunate. Yeah, the, the lad's got brilliant plays. He, uh, he's committed the fullback. He's taken him on. You're thinking that the fullback might put him on the outside and take him wide of the goal, but he's managed to keep on, on, on the line, the attacking line that he was looking at, and he's just finished it with a plumb. You know, a great left foot shot to, to beat Joe like that high into the net. It, it, it was um, a, a brilliant piece of uh, football from Chesterfield. Bounce behind for McCallum. The flag is up against him. And uh, they're not too happy with the decision, the front two there, Quigley and McCallum. Uh, it is a free kick, though, to the visitors. Yeah, I must admit, from our angle up here, it looked extremely tight. You know, I, I didn't even think that he was going to... Oh, now he's going to book McCallum for something that McCallum said to the linesman. You know, they, they get frustrated when you get a poor decision like that. You know, it's a, from my position up here I, I didn't think it was offside but uh... Tuesday, that's an unfortunate midweek journey Alex. yeah in fact the, the, the team are flying up um, and stay, staying overnight but it, it's not a great fixture to have midweek but, uh, if people fail to see that you know the, the expenses that's going to cost McCallum is off a second yellow for a foul on Tom Naylor the caution for descent coming back uh, to punish him because that is a caution for a foul McCallum is off that is so unfortunate. He's got to be careful now because he's, he's, he's upset and he's having another go at the, the referee and thanks to Jake Taylor and that are take, taking him away. But that's the risky run. You know, if you get booked for, for dissent and, uh, or saying something to the lines, but look, he's having another go. Come on, Paul. You're a professional. You know, it's, now we're down to 10 men, one, one down. It is, it is, we are right up against it now. You know, the main man in the National League, the leading goal scorer, is off. Uh, uh, isn't always the best thing. That's a great ball from Shackleford to Naylor. Terrific stuff. Saved at the near post by Joe McDonnell. I don't know if that was a cross or a shot, but a great move uh, from Chesterfield and good keeping from McDonnell. Yeah, Corner ball. Joe got his angles right at the near post and uh, you know, he's managed to smother the ball out for, for a corner kick. But um, you know, Chesterfield. Williams goes long, Langston wins the header. Taylor heads it down, but only straight back to Chesterfield. Grigg across Jacobs. Two to pass, and then it's just wide of the target from James Berry. Terrific move, and he 
went to place it in the bottom right hand corner as we look at it and it just went wide it's a goal kick to Eastley and that was a very good chance for James Berry it was but to be fair Joe had his angles right again and that's why it went past the post because he hit it on target Joe would have saved it you know so again good good um, goalkeeping from, from Joe but what in front of his own supporters, Liam Mandeville takes the corner short, back to Bailey Clements, back to Mandeville, he's going to cross it in the air to the back post, he goes towards Grimes, heads it down, keeper bats it away, but he's gone past him and Grimes had a present there, somehow the keeper didn't deal with it, but he's put it over from an angle. This is a massive step forward, this could be a turning point, but they've got to try and see the game out, they don't want to let in some more goals for a demoralising finish. This is a 17, he takes a shot, oh, just wide! just wide from the substitute Armando Dobra who has looked to have Rutherford puts the pressure on back to Oldacre would he take his chance from distance urged to shoot by the away fans not doing it this is good play for Chesterfield they've worked an attack they found the second goal Naylor found Mandeville who lashed it into the back of the net and it's going to be an away win today for all Eastley's hard work Eastley nil Chesterfield two yeah, we've been chasing the ball, and that was a bit of a lack in concentration. It was a little bit of tired legs. Yeah, they've allowed us to pick up, pick us off. The, the reverse ball inside the fullback was absolutely superb. Again, we never went and closed the ball, and uh, the, the lads managed to pick the uh, the far corner. They were scoring, so I can only see the positives out of, out of this performance. I can't see any negatives. Two 0 the score for Chesterfield, whose supporters now make a sort of noise. You would expect, here they are going for a third goal. Eastley have got to be careful, this doesn't have a bigger scoreline to it. It has. It's Will Grigg who scored after tremendous work down the byline from Ollie Banks. They've combined and Griggs has his goal. It's 19th of the season. It's all going wrong for Eastley. Eastley nil, Chesterfield three. Again, it, it's sad, uh, but it's predictable you know, that... Um, We've gone with two up front now uh, because we wanted to get something back. In my opinion, that was the right thing to do. Like I said, why let the game fizzle out at 1-0 um, when, when you can actually try and get something out of the game. But having that switch has obviously had a detrimental effect because they've now gone and scored two goals and they're making the extra man town now. Dotsy will get there. He's got quickly at the back post if he can find a cross. Rutherford, down the byline he goes. Dotsy goes down in the area. That is hey! Eastley may have a chance to get on the score sheet in added time. He's in double figures in all competitions. Chris Maguire, penalty for a consolation goal for Eastleigh against the young keeper Tyra on loan from Everton. Maguire. Top what, left what hand a penalty. corner. Brilliant penalty. What a penalty. Technically, absolutely superb. In the, in the postage stamp, top corner, left there. Never gave the goalkeeper a chance whatsoever. He had plenty of pace on it, and, and it's in the right area. And it, it, I'm happy. That gives us a little bit of respectability. It gives the lads what they deserve, in my opinion. You know, they're playing, in fact, he's thrown the final whistle, isn't he? That was the last kick of the ball. Eastley won, Chesterfield three. The last kick.